Founder fans, Jason here. Today's founder is John Patton. Now, John Patton was from Delaware, and despite just being a farmer, he ends up joining the Continental Army right at the beginning of the war as a first lieutenant, an officer. And throughout the war, Patton would make his way up to become a major at, some, at a certain point. Now, Patton serves in all the notable battles in the first half of the war, uh, everything from the Battle of Long Island, a.k.a. the Battle of Brooklyn, all the way through the Battle of Camden. Now, his service really ends at the Battle of Camden because famously, the Battle of Camden does not go well for the Patriots. It is actually a disaster. Much of his uh, teammates from Delaware are destroyed during the battle, and Patton himself is taken captive. So, unfortunately, he does miss the Battle of Yorktown, the victory there, but it's only a few months later, about the time of Yorktown, that Patton is released on parole, and he goes back to living his normal life. Now, through the 1780s, Patton starts making his way up in the world. He made a name for himself as an officer in the Continental Army, and he makes his way up through Delaware politics, participating in the state government for a while, even being sent to represent Delaware at the Continental Congress in 1786 for about it, for one session, one year. Uh, and doing so, Patton doesn't really make too big a name for himself, but he has established himself now as a leader in Delaware. And in 1793, he actually runs for the United States House of Representatives to jump in on the third session of that very young body, the almost brand spanking new House of Representatives. And Patton wins his election, or so he thinks. Because his opponent, Henry Latimer, actually comes out and challenges the decision. If you think election questioneering is anything new, no, this is under the Washington administration. Uh, it is questioned and the United States House of Representatives makes the determination that no, Patent actually did not win the election. Now, it's a little fuzzy on exactly what Latimer was saying was wrong with the election, except that the ballots were filled out incorrectly. Now, at the time, this probably means that they spelled Patent's name wrong, which usually when you see the name Patent, there's an O in there. Uh, so primarily, that's probably the issue, uh, is that there was just a lot of misspelling of his names and well, maybe they wanted a different John Patton, which is obviously not true, but the Federalist House of Representatives, Federalist-controlled House of Representatives, wanted the Federalist Latimer in there as opposed to John Patton, and he was actually removed from his position uh, because it was determined that the uh, balloting was not performed correctly in Delaware. What's interesting is the House of Representatives only serves for two years at a time, and Patton had already served for a year. So he serves for a year, and then he goes back home for another year. And then Henry Latimer is appointed as a United States Senator. So the position opened back up. John Lat Patton runs again and again wins handedly and goes back for two more years. Now, it's, interestingly, while he's there for that second uh, term is when the Jay Treaty is supposed to be ratified. And actually, the, the House of Representatives is deciding whether or not to send it to the United States Senate. And Patton is sick that day. And he can't attend the session. Therefore, it is a tie. And Speaker Frederick Muhlenberg gets to perform the tie-breaking decision to send the Jay Treaty to the Senate where it is ratified. So in a weird way, John Patton being sick for a day while a congressman helped push through the very controversial Jay Treaty to get ratified finally. Now, Patton re retires again after this one term. Uh, he retires for three years when he's called upon again to run for House of Representatives. He doesn't seem to want to, but... He is the Democratic Republican from the area, and since the Democratic Republicans seem to be sweeping into office any day now, uh, he was brought in to run. Unfortunately, he lost to uh, 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 Congressman Bayard, who had already taken over the position once Patton retired that first time. And therefore, uh, Bayard continues, to, he beats Patton and wins. And this is probably a good thing because Patton ends up passing away just a few weeks after the election was had. He would never have actually resumed his seat. There would have had to have been another special election in this already very controversial district in the first decade of the United States government in a segment of Delaware. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, definitely hit like and subscribe. Patton's kind of a super random founder, but we got to do them every once in a while because they are important. They did have that little part in the American founding, including arguably the first controversial election in American history. So like I said, hit like, subscribe, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.